Psalms 119 verse 103. How sweet are thy words unto my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through thy precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way, none. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. What is a precept? Shalom, all blessings, honors, and glories, and powers be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught me this truth, as well as men of like mind. Shalom wa chasa to the elect of the nation of Israel, which means peace and mercy to the elect of the nation of Israel. Whom are you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners of the sea land of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who are scattered here in America, which is Babylon the Great, and abroad. To you I say Shalom, and Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shara Tazah. This lesson is edifying. Now this lesson will be for the newer believers slash newer listeners and Lord's willing you are edified. For inspiring me with the Holy Spirit to do this lesson. The Spirit just hopped on me just now to do a, a lesson. At first, I didn't have the topic, and the topic of what is a precept and came to my mind. <clears throat> Pardon me. And the elder brother Yazian, years ago, had done a lesson entitled, What is a Precept? Okay, and so now the Lord has inspired me to do my own lesson to edify his elect. Lord is willing you are edified on the topic of what is a precept. As through thy precepts through the precepts of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai I get understanding we get the understanding of the knowledge of the scriptures of the understanding of the scriptures of the wisdom of the scriptures therefore I hate every false way and again the question is what is a precept to those out there that may have asked themselves within themselves what is a precept? A precept here from the Hebrew word pa kwa wadim pa kwa wadim pa kwa wa da ya ma pa kwa wadim which means statue collectively for the law commandment precept statue and what is a statue? A statue is a law, regulation, enactment, act, bail, decree, edict, rule, order. And so a statue is a law. And through thy precepts, through the laws of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai as a precept, is a statue which is a law slash commandment we get understanding of the scriptures of the words of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai and therefore I hate every false way therefore the elect of the nation of Israel hate every false way that is contrary to the laws of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai that is why it is written here in verse 103 that how sweet are thy words unto my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Because these words, the words of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, are likened unto honey. That's why our Lord Yahweh Shai had said that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth. Of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, which are sweeter 
than honey to the mouth meaning to our minds because when we eat which means to study these words at first they are sweet to the mouth of our minds but when we digest it it becomes bitter because we then go through the trials and tribulations and temptations that the Lord said that we will go through while being in the flesh in this world in this walk okay and what is understanding in which we get through the laws of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai let's find out what understanding is this is the book of Proverbs chapter 10 excuse me chapter 9 verse 10 the fear of the Lord Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding and so understanding begins with the knowledge of the holy and who is the holy the holy is Yahweh through his son Yahweh whom the world ignorantly and collectively calls Jehovah and Christ the true and only names of the father and his son is the father is Yahweh Yah means he Hawa means exist or is and then there's the son or lord and savior Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai Yah means he Yahweh Shai means delivers slash saves whom the world ignorantly and willingly calls Christ okay and the beginning of knowledge is the fear of Yahweh as it is written here in the book of Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 that the fear of the Lord Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge but fools despise wisdom and instruction because fools do not desire or rather the Lord does not desire fools to serve him because man's goings are of the Lord how can a man then understand his own way and so the fear of the Lord Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge and the knowledge of the holy who is Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai is understanding this is the book of Job which we get through the precepts of Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai Job chapter 28 verse 28 and unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. So not only is understanding the knowledge of the holy, which begins with the fear of Yahweh, but it is also to depart from evil. Because once we gain the knowledge of the heavenly father Yahweh, through his son Yahweh Shai, we will then gain the wisdom not to go against the will and the principles of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. For if we do so, the Lord will severely chastise us, possibly even destroy us. Okay? That's what the Lord said here in the book of Sirach. If my memory serves me correct, it's either the sixth chapter or the seventh chapter. It's actually the seventh chapter. This is why the Lord said this, Sirach chapter 7 verse 1, Do no evil, so shall no harm come unto thee. Depart from the unjust, and iniquity shall turn away from thee. My son, sow not, which the word sow means to scatter, not upon the furrows of unrighteousness. And furrow goes into the managing of a farm. <clears throat> okay? And thou shalt not reap them sevenfold now if you were to look up what a furrow is a furrow is a long narrow trench made in the ground by a plow especially for planting seeds or for irrigation and this is what a furrow looks like my lord said my son sow not don't scatter your seeds upon the furrows of unrighteousness okay and thou shalt not reap them sevenfold because the Lord said whatsoever a man soweth that shall he also reap 
And if you sow an unrighteousness, then you're going to reap the same. And the only result that it will lead to is destruction. Okay? So now, let's go back to the book of Psalms. And, con and conclude there. Psalms chapter 119. And let's read from verse 27 on down to 104. Make me to understand the way of thy precepts. Which again, a precept is a statue, which is a law, a commandment. So shall I take of thy wondrous works. Psalms chapter 119 verse 100. I understand more than the, than the ancients because I keep thy precepts. And the scripture says... Precept must be upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little. That is how we read the scriptures. That's how we study the scriptures. That's how we bring them out. Okay? Precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. I understand more than the ancients because I've kept, because I kept, because I keep, excuse me, I kept, keep thy precepts. Verse 104. Through thy precepts I get understanding. Therefore I hate every false way as we all should and ought to. So with that, a prayer lesson was edifying to the elect. To you out there that may have asked within yourselves, what is a precept? Well, in this lesson, Lord is willing, your question is answered. A precept is a statute, which is a law, a commandment. Okay? Verse 105. None. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. And a light unto my path. Okay, so with that, shalom to the elect, Lord's willing, until the next.